So, we think Enrique might be pregnant. I'm about to take my test. <laughs> no, but in reality, Enrique's been feeling really sick. Starting yesterday. Starting yesterday, he felt a little weird. Victoria and Olivia were sick, but they're better now. But Enrique, you know men are kind of babies, so I don't know if I should believe him or not. But we're going to see if he actually has COVID. See, the thing is, the day that I started feeling bad, I spent about four hours walking around two miles. Well, maybe not two miles, maybe like a mile and a half working on the scorching sun. So I remember feeling, like, the feeling I had is like, I'm tired. Every time I would look like this, I feel like it's a weird feeling to explain, but God damn, it hurts. So I'm gonna test it, see if I'm- Yeah, enough. we got this one. He was gonna take it at the drive through places, but the line was so long. And tomorrow we leave for Washington. But if he has COVID, then we can't go. It comes with two, so I'm gonna break my nose twice. <gasps> Doesn't a professional have to do that? I'm a professional, like putting things in my nose. Well, there are Like, what if you poke your brain or something? That's not how that works. And look at me, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna dye my hair black. He knows. I'm not supposed to show it all the way to my nose, and that kind of stuck. I was really looking forward to rape my own nose, but <laughs> it is what it is. You say I only need like one inch. Needed, but I'm sure maybe you can go further if you want. Oh, wait, well, first step, add the drops. I'm making a magic potion. It's at six. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, asco. Oh. And then the other one. Uh. Oh, look at it. <laughs> it's yellow. It goes to that one. Oh, shit. Three. It stays like that. Close it. And results in how many minutes? I need to wait 15 minutes. 15. Dun, the longest dun, 15 dun. minutes of my life. Okay. Wow. I really hope he doesn't have it because I really want to go to Washington. Positive will be two lines or like pink line and one or one faint line. If there's anything blue, it's a fake positive. Anyways, we'll see you in a minute. All right. It's been over. It's been 18 Fifth, minutes. 18 minutes and it is negative. Yay, but yay, yay. He's gonna do the second one just to double if, make sure. If Randy wants me to do it, I'll do it. If not, I'll just Yeah. You're just being a baby. I feel sick, bro. Like I'm not I'm not just oh my god. I, I, I never even said that I had COVID. Just they wanted me to confirm I had COVID. I just feel I have my sense of smell. I just have a slight headache and a bunch of chills, but that's it. And I feel really lazy. Like I feel like I just want to go to sleep. Oh, that's just you. Maybe have I'm gonna have like a like a stroke. Oh that's my another God. possibility. Shut up! Here you go with your dramaticness. You see, I tell you, men, they're uh, drama. Uh, give me a heart attack. Uh, my okay. Stomach. Well, I'm gonna dye my hair now. Just our freaking luck. I, I was feeling better today, and our family in Washington asked us to do the other test. Just. For the sake of it, you know, to be sure. And this one is positive. Oh my god! Oh my god. So I guess I have COVID, and we all do apparently. I don't know if I'm the one who brought it home or when we went out last weekend because, as I said, Victoria and Olivia were sick too, except for Karenny because she's doing her diet and she's super healthy. So we're not going to Washington. Kareni's feeding Olivia right now, and she's not having it. We were really looking forward to this trip for like the past two months. I mean, we're still gonna go, but later. Like... Yeah, but we won't see the family that's already there. Yeah, I know. Oh well. You guys, such a sad moment. Honestly, Victoria was so excited. We just keep, we just kept hyping her up because she was gonna see her cousin. We were like, "Hey, your cousin this, your cousin that," and she was like, "Oh my god!" and Never mind. She just took a shower. She, we were all, we were basically ready to leave. We had our bags done or made. How do you say that? We had our bags packed. Anyways, time to quarantine ourselves. Baby number one is fine. Baby number two, well, she just fell, but she's fine too. They both got sick one day before I got sick. It is day three. Day of, five. Day five of COVID. It was Friday. Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 
Monday, Tuesday. Oh my God, what the heck? It went by really fast. What about having COVID? It's not really being sick, but the fact that Karani will remind me every second of the day, like, oh my God, I have to do this. Oh my God, I have to do that. Oh yeah, my day just well, started. I, I have to do all like of this. It's like having three babies now. Now I don't have to worry about just them two feeding them and cleaning after them. Now I have to do it for Enrique too. Yesterday when I was eating, I couldn't taste anything. But then like a couple hours later, it was back. So it's really weird for me. And then sometimes I'll get like a headache, but then it goes away. So the symptoms for me have been very mild. Thank goodness. That is a good thing because imagine if we're both sick and then having to take care of babies it, it's a lot i've been very tired just because like all day i'm cooking cleaning i feel like i'm always doing something so without further ado let's get started with the day because i have to make breakfast for these two. Oh, and that is enrique's corner over there that's what he does all day is sleep i kid you not i've never seen him sleep that much in my life but He's so tired, like he's so weak. I actually should check if he's breathing right now. Oh, you are breathing. Mm. <laughs> well, anyway, he's alive. Mm. But it's not the energy you guys used to know. His energy as like a, out of one out of ten, it's probably like a two. Victoria is currently eating a banana because she's hungry. But I gotta feed Olivia first because if I don't feed Olivia, then she's screaming. Um, so Victoria can actually tolerate being hungry for a little bit. So I had to change because I got really hot from cooking. But this is Victoria's plate. She says she may be getting sick. I know I've been sick because I keep getting symptoms very light, but like I said, I lost my well, you're taste so healthy. and I had. Well, I've been eating healthier, so maybe that's what's helping me. Victoria's plate so yummy. I know. So Victoria's plate, she has tacos with the veggies in there. Um, she has her fruit, her yogurt, and I'm gonna add these berries. Goji berries are supposed to be super healthy. They support your immune system. Since she also has a little bit of COVID, we're gonna add some here for her. <laughs> just a little bit, just a sprinkle of COVID. And some body detox. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and also, she is gonna have a kid's immunity vitamin. Wow. wow. She's so healthy, you guys. And her plate is ready. Whoa, that's delicious. I want to play like that for myself. <laughs> With berries and fruit and everything? Yes, please, and a kid vitamin. <laughs> you want the kid's meal? <laughs> <laughs> to come with a toy? My plate is ready. Enrique has his kid's meal that he requested and a little toy. Girl, Olivia puts that in her mouth all the time. Why don't, that's, that's, <laughs> nasty. that's nasty. Here, your dessert, girl. Yeah. Well, me personally, I just wanted to say thank you to Kareni, the real MVP. Without her, I'll probably be just, I don't know, in some sidewalk, just dying and living of rainwater. She's taking great care of us. And she says she finally got a headache. Hopefully she's not bad because if she is... <coughs> I think it also might be because I'm just very active all day. Wow. Well, so I was saying, if she gets sick, the boat may sink. Yeah. Yeah. I have no taste. The headaches are slight now. It doesn't really hurt that much. I do feel tired all the time. It's super annoying and uncomfortable. It puts into perspective... <coughs> <laughs> it puts into perspective the whole vaccination thing, you know? But I still stand by my words. What, that you're maybe thinking of getting it? Uh, I think it depends. I always say, no, the thing is, so the vaccine is just exposures to the virus in small amounts so it doesn't get you that sick and your body creates antibodies, right? Now, this is the real deal. The real virus hit us and uh, we're kind of zombie. Um, but we will create the antivirus, the antibodies, and we'll be good. And we'll have the defenses, same as taking the vaccine. But it does take a long time. It's been exactly seven days. Seven days. And I don't know. I don't know if it's worth not taking the vaccine. But the vaccine has a lot of other ingredients that not give it. It just depends if you're, um, obviously you're getting hit more because there must be something in your body that maybe. Okay, Fauci. <laughs> Yeah, I'm coughing a little bit more today. 
because I used to not want to cough because when I cough my head hurts. It doesn't hurt anymore, so I can cough, but it's very annoying. Oh, that's quite the cough. Aftermath. Kitchen aftermath. It's not even that bad, dude. Dude, because you don't have to do anything. You just go and lay if down to, in your if couch. I had, if I had to clean this, I'll be like, oh, yeah, three minutes of my life. Jesus. So three bad. minutes? Yeah. You think this takes three minutes? Yes. I can do it for you if you don't believe me. Because um, then after that, I ha I said I have to feed Olivia. I have to breastfeed her so she can nap. You said after that, homie. Okay, I have whatever. to make the tea. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are both going to lay down? Yeah. What's the day? <laughs> It's your nap time too. As you can see, Victoria's calm. Victoria. <laughs> Olivia's pretty calm, but that is all about to change because her symptom, now that she has COVID, is uh, she gets very congested. So I have to suck her snot out with this handy dandy device. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see all that snot that came out. Now the other side. ginger tea. I'm gonna cut these two gingers. It's a very strong tea. Oh, and I'm gonna add like a little sprinkle of goji berries too. Oh. Now I've been making this tea every single day since we've had COVID. For some reason, maybe that's what's been helping me not get that many symptoms is this tea. Because ginger is supposed to be very, very good for you. I'm not exactly sure what it has, but it's supposed to be good. So there is my chunks of garlic. I mean garlic ginger. I got my boiling water. I'm just gonna throw those in there. Along with some goji berries. And in the cups, I add the juice of a lemon. Well, each cup is going to have half lemon in there. And then also I cut a little slice Mommy. to put in there. And the other half for the other one. Pour some honey in there. Yeah. And some cayenne pepper. And it's not because I like it spicy. It's just cayenne is also good for sinuses and all of that. So Picky and Rika just woke up and he's like, I don't want that much cayenne pepper in mom because it probably doesn't even do anything. And I've told him, who's sick? You or me? You are. So he's like, show me the data of what cayenne pepper is supposed to be. How good it's supposed to be. And it says um, it activates your circulatory system, which aids in combating cold and flu by increasing the blood flow and speed up immune cells getting transported to sites of infection. So I told him, if anything, now all I'm gonna do is add more cayenne pepper to your shit. Uh-oh, Olivia woke up. You ready for your tea? After that two hour nap? Yeah. Yeah? I just tried it and it's super strong. So before I pour it in there, I use this strainer, just so none of the berries or the, or the ginger falls in there, of course. You want a clean, smooth tea. And this stuff's super strong, you guys. It's very, very strong. That's why Enrique asked for less cayenne pepper because he didn't want it to burn that much, but gotta do what you gotta do when you're sick. There we go. 
We got our two ginger teas. We're gonna enjoy our teas now. Olivia is with us. How was that nap and drinking? It was good, but my back really hurts now. Your back hurts? Well, That's not the most comfortable bed. Well, you can start sleeping in the bed if you want, I guess. But it's probably more comfortable, like for you, your feeding baby, and all that. I didn't take a nap, you guys. This whole two hours, I was just minding my business. I'm not tired. It's weird. Good for you. Okay. Well, we're gonna have this tea. Chip. No, you can't make Oh wow, I'm good now. <laughs> no, it's honestly a really good tea, you guys, if you want to try it. I can't taste it. You can taste it, but it's, it's not the best tasting tea, but you just feel good drinking it. You feel all those nutrients soaking in your body. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Should go to the hospital or not. <laughs> but it was so weird because he was just like on the computer. <laughs> and he started telling me like, oh I I feel I feel really weird. 
and then he started like breathing really weird and then he like fell from the chair and I, I at first I thought he was playing because you know how Enrique is like he always kids around like that and then but no he was like hit his head on the counter and then he was falling on the floor so I had to catch him like my knees are already bruised because I was like trying to get him and then and then he woke up and he's like whoa what happened He's like, why are you crying? I'm like, you just passed out. And then he I grabbed him because as soon as I was talking to him, he like started passing out again. Like his eyes went to the back of his head and he was all stiff. changed my, my view of everything like thankfully I don't feel anything <laughs> but Enrique is really taking a big toll on it so <laughs> they're still there I need to calm down because I also feel like I'm gonna pass out because I'm like so nervous <laughs> like my legs are tingly from the stress and I can't even go out there with him because I have to be with the babies. Oh, wow, he's actually walking back. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I kid you not, I prayed to all the gods in the world and my dad. And... Oh, he's texting me. Oh, wait, but it. oh my god, you guys. My legs are so tingly. I feel like there's my bruise from when I was trying to help Enrique. So the ambulance just left. They checked my vitals. They said I'm good. My heart rate looks fine. My oxygen levels look fine. Well, they said everything looks fine. They did ask, they did ask me if I had a history of anxiety or something, because uh, they think that <laughs> I might have passed out because something related to that. And it may be because both my parents were telling me, like, oh, this can happen, and lung failure, and this and that, and I kind of like, whoa, I kind of like started tripping out, and then I started breathing. <laughs> And then I realized maybe something is wrong with me and I don't know, I should probably look at a, like, a clinic or something. And I started breathing and then suddenly started look, everything started to look super weird. And I remember telling Kareni, um, wait, I'm feeling weird, I'm feeling weird. And then I put my hands on my head and then I started dreaming. I was dreaming some happy stuff. I was dream I remember dreaming, like literally, I don't know what I was dreaming, but I remember that I was dreaming. And then suddenly I kind of came back and Karen is just like screaming and crying on top of me and I'm just like, and I'm just like, whoa, like look up and I see her and I'm like, oh, what happened? Like, I'm fine. And then suddenly, whoa, pff, I, again. And so next time I wake up, Karen is calling 911 and my arms are tingly. And yeah, that was, that was really scary. I'm sorry I put you through that. She really loves me. She was concerned. Because <laughs> I really thought the way you were looking at me, mm -hmm. it looked like you were joking. Oh. And then once you were like really falling down, then I realized you weren't joking. So that's where Enrique hit himself in the counter. And he hurts on the back too, I don't know. Yeah, because I told Enrique like the second time he started passing out, he got really stiff. <laughs> and I was like using all my force for him not to hit the ground, but he was like purposely I don't know, I don't know what it is, but you were so stiff and it was like you were trying to lean back and I couldn't hold you. So you hit Maybe your head. Maybe that's not a reflex when you pass out. Yeah. So you hit your head, like, not as hard as if I wouldn't catch you, but... <laughs> I really lost, like, a bunch of brain cells. Yeah. And, and now we're going to get a big bill for that ambulance, but at least I got these nice souvenirs. Dude, I know, we're in so much debt now. Ah! It's crazy. If we don't make it on YouTube, we're fucked.
Ah! There's a hair in there. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's a couple days later. I can't speak that loud because after the incident with Enrique. Now, she, now she's struggling to breathe. Yeah. As you can see, I survived. I'm fine. I'm actually doing way better now. Uh, but now she's doing worse. I'm sick. I think that I got sick from being so scared. That's what I think. Because yeah, it was the, a pretty bad scare for me. The stress might have... Um, so... <laughs> so it's just ever since that day... Now it's Enrique's turn to take care of me. Mm -hmm. um, moral of the story. <laughs> It's rough. It is rough. We thought it was gonna be a regular flu. It we is thought not. we thought it was child's play, but no, it is really. Good. Babies, the baby's have been really annoying. Olivia had the worst night ever last night, She's and by that I mean she just kept crying nonstop. And she doesn't just cry; she screams. Yeah. And so we didn't sleep. We haven't slept till like 4 a.m. Yeah, it makes it. it nice. It's setting. It, we're we're playing the COVID game on hard. The babies is. Yeah, Olivia's Especially with very, this one. Olivia's always been a needy baby. So, so annoying. You literally have to carry her or have her in your arms. So it's been, it's been rough. It's going to be a long healing journey, but I'm yeah. hopeful that we will get better. We'll keep, um, we apologize for the quality of the vlog. It was all choppy all over the place, but it is hard to be focused on recording <laughs> and having like a line to follow when so many things are happening in, in like at once. Yeah, so none I, of us could edit. I know. And Enrique finally feels better, so he's been able to start editing. So I, I hope it was an enjoyable vlog. I hope it made sense. I hope you understand what happened. And we will we will keep recording. Now that I'm feeling better, I'm gonna keep recording and and just keep you updated. So just stay safe <laughs> and stay tuned. <laughs> Ah, so annoying, that cough. <laughs> okay, fine people of the internet. We hope this was of your liking. And if my you did like it, please make sure you press the like button. Although it might feel weird to like a video where Enrique goes to the ambulance. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was it for the vlog. Thank, Thank you, guys you for, for watching. watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, Victoria. Bye. Whoa. Oh, no bye from her. Bye. Okay, bye!